Hi guys, so welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you are not a subscriber of this channel, feel free to click subscribe and the notification bell for more updates. So in today's video guys, we are going to discuss about the coordinates of a point that divides a line segment. So in our first problem we have here, determine the coordinates of the point which is 3 fifth of the way from 1, negative 5 and negative 4, 5. Now we have these two points. So consider these two points. We have point 0.1 and point 0.2. So point 0.1 is 1, negative 5 and point 0.2 is negative 4, 5. So the line segment was divided from point 0.1 at 3 fifths of the distance. So this 3 fifths corresponds to the ratio of the bisection. So the length of this is 3 fifths of the total distance and of course the remaining will be 2 fifths of the total distance. So the line segment formed by these two points is divided by the by a point whose coordinates are x and y. We have the formula for finding the abscissa. It is given by you have x equals you have x1 r2 plus x2 times r1 all over r2 plus r1. Now this is a uh, direct substitution. So in this first solution, we are going to use this formula. So we have x so equals, so x1, we have from point 1, this is 1. So r2 is 2 fifths. So, so r1 will be from point 1 and r2 will be from point 2. We have here R2 which is 2 fifths. So plus so X2 is, you have here negative 4. Then R1 we have 3 fifths. All over so you have R2 plus R1. So you have 2 fifths plus 3 fifths. So X equals. So we have x as negative 2. For y, we just replace the variable for x in the formula as y. So for y, we have... So y1, we have negative 5. So let's change this to negative 5. And y2, let's change this to you have 5 here so the y coordinate is you have 1 now this is our final answer it means that this line segment from point 1 which is 1 negative 5 to point 2 which is negative 4 5 is bisected 3 fifths of the total length from point 1 up you have negative 2 and 1 now we have our second solution so we have an alternate solution for this so our alternate solution is based on ratio and proportion so we just redraw the figure now using similar triangles we can use ratio and proportion so for x we have this distance all over 3 fifths so this distance will be 1 minus so x so 1 minus x all over we have 3 fifths is proportional to so for the top figure you have this so x minus you have negative 4 all over 2 fifths so we solve for x so x will be you have negative 2 so we have the same answer but this Solution is using ratio and proportion. So for y, use ratio and proportion using the height. So we have here y minus, we have negative 5 all over. So 3 fifths is proportional to, we have this 5 minus, so y all over 2 fifths. Now we solve for y. So y equals 
one. So we have the same answer. So you can choose either of the two solutions, whichever you are comfortable. Now for the next problem, we have the area of a polygon by coordinate. For this problem, we have compute for the area of the triangle if the coordinates of the vertices are 1, 1, 3, negative 3, and 5, negative 3. Now we have this figure with coordinates 1, 1, we have 3, negative 3, and 5, negative 3. So connecting those points, we have formed a triangle. We are required to find the area of this polygon. So the area is given by Now we write all the coordinates of the point using this form. So our direction will be we have counterclockwise. So, so from point 1, we have our starting position here for point 1. So we turn counterclockwise. So point 1, point 2, point 3 and we go back to the first reference point. So we have here. So whatever your values here will be your value at the last of this equation. So the process is we just subtract the cross product. So area equals so 1 half. So x1 times y2. We have x1 times y2. So plus we have this. So x2 times y3. Plus we have this x3 times y1 then we subtract the other cross product so x2 y1 plus you have x3 y2 plus you have x1 y3 so that is our solution for this problem so we apply this solution to our sample problem we have so a equals so one half so our point one will be so you have one one three negative three five negative three and we go back to one one then we cross multiply so the area equals so one half so 1 times negative 3 here. So 3 times, so plus 3 times negative 3 plus, so 5 times 1. So minus, you have here the other cross product, so 1 times 3 plus we have 5 times negative 3 and you have this 1 times negative 3. So don't forget to put a parenthesis. So we have 4 square units. So the answer is 4 square units. So we have the area. Now we have an alternate solution for solving this problem. So we just find the distance between those points and use Heron's formula. So the distance P1 to P2 will be, so P1, P2 is equal to the square root of, so you have x sub 2 minus x sub 1, so 1 minus 3 squared plus, you have y sub 2 minus y sub 1, so we have 1 minus negative 3, so the distance is, you have 2 square root of 5. So from P2 to P3, you have. So the square root of distance formula. So x sub 2 minus x sub 1. So we have 5 minus 3. So squared plus. You have negative 3 minus negative 3. So squared. So you have, so that is 2 units. Now from point 3 to point 1, you have, so 5 minus 1, so squared plus, you have negative 3 minus 1 squared. 
We have four squared of two. Now we have the three sides. We can use the Heron's formula. So the area equals so the square root of s times s minus a times s minus b times s minus c. Where ang s natin is your semi perimeter. So a plus b plus c all over two. We just add all the lengths then divide by two. So s equals so two square root of five plus two plus four square root of two all over two equals we have here six point zero six four now we can find the area so a equals we have the square root of s so that is six point zero six four times six point zero six four minus so a let's say two square root of five so you have six point zero six four minus so two so times we have six point zero six four minus so c let's say four square root of Now we compute for the area. So we have four square units. So we have arrived to the same answer. So we can, you can use either of the two if you are dealing with triangles. So that's it guys. So I hope that you learned from this video. So if you find this video helpful, feel free to click the subscribe button and the notification bell for more updates. See you guys.